Howdy folks, Scott Grove here. Yeah, I shaved. Anyway, um, got an exciting, exciting product. It actually is. Um, because Fender USA, yeah, they never do crap for you. Um, so what do we have now? Something that has been needed for a long time. Fender, you actually made one, and then Squire put out a couple humbucker versions. But yeah, we're talking about the seven-string Stratocaster, folks. No, this is not no Rondo piece of SX, uh, Douglas, Agile, Agile, whatever you're going to call it, piece of crap. No. This is not one of those pieces of crap. Yes, sorry Rondo, but your guitars suck. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm shy like that. Anyway, so Matt Raines, R-A-I-N-E-S. Um, you've seen me before with one of his seven-string tellies. Right there. Okay, I've talked to Matt a few times now. Very cool, and he gave me a superb deal on this guitar. Also, um, can't beat it. Talk to Matt. He, he even trades for brand new guitars. You got whatever you got. If you want one of his uh, guitars, he'll trade you. Um, he's all about it. He's he's cool. <laughs> Great guy. Um, anyway, so he only did like I think maybe a dozen each of the Tele and the Strat. Okay, so there's only one Telecaster left. Period. They're all that Robin's Egg Blue or the uh, what do you call it? The Sonic Blue Fender-esque thing. And he does the Strats also in that color in this uh, antique white and and you know your sunburst so there are a few straps left only one telly left as of the 7th of august 2011 which is today so if you want that one telly you better get it because it's gone after <laughs> any time hopefully after you guys watch this because he deserves all the business in the world and again only like i can't remember 12 or 14 of each and he's got um i don't know if, i think he said four or five of these left the straps uh they're on ebay right now even Okay, so grab them. Um, just take it down here where you can actually see the guitar. And why would somebody want such a thing? Um, I want it for country. Okay, I am a country player. Uh, this is what I want. I don't want humbuckers. Okay, so again, Squire put out their little um, double humbucker thing with the reverse headstock. Uh, Fender actually built a seven string strap custom shop for somebody famous, but would not release it to y'all. Okay, so Matt did it, and here it is. Um, I I got the telly because it had the single coils. I wanted a strat type of thing, not because of the body style, but because of the three pickups. I like quack, not twang so much. Okay, so here it be. Um, what can you say about it is a great guitar. Again, so much better than um, pretty much any brand name I can mention to you, actually. Uh, so don't waste your money on other seven string guitars, especially if you're trying to find a Strat and somebody else does make one. Um, you're losing out if you don't go with Matt's uh, axe here. It is unfinished on the back of the neck, meaning, yes, no finish, uh, which is beautiful because you don't stick to it. Um, so there's no poly, no nitro, no nothing. It might have been oiled or something, but uh, great tuners. Um, what can you say? It's unfinished even here on the top. Uh, can you feel that logo? No. Um, it's put together right. Um, everything about it works exactly like a Strat, other than it has seven strings. So if you know what a Strat sounds like, um, that's, a, that's what this puppy sounds like. Except for, hey, you got a low B string. Why not get a baritone? Because then you lose your high E string, and you can't play all your pretty... <laughs> can't play all the cool stuff if you have just a baritone guitar. This is still regular scale length, okay? So you aren't doing any kind of learning curve. You just have to remember that your fingers have to go, you know, in a weird looking place and it feels a little odd at first if you've never played a um, seven string guitar for, for, you know, ever. But what are the advantages? Okay, let's go again. I, like I said, I'm a country player. So if I go to the Okay, well, let's go to the bridge pickup down here and put a little bit of delay on her. Okay, so we're doing Johnny.
you there you go there's the damn advantages okay what does it sound like when we're going to straight old guitar sounds let's go to the two position so your bridge and your middle pickup okay again I'm country fine you why because I like to Okay, so just good old quack. See, again, and my fingers aren't used to um, the spacing. Uh, spacing is actually normal. Um, it's just the neck is wider, so you got to remember, yes, things are different feeling. But after about ten minutes, you get really used to it. Okay, so if you're playing in D, of course, you know you run out of uh, room on any other guitar. I used to have room to sneak up behind that D. So you country players or anything that you hear that you like, there's your advantage. Again, you don't have to D tune or do a drop D thing. Even if you want to do your um, hardcore crap, you already know you don't have to do a drop D tuning anymore. You can just slam down. You can go all the way down to C and you can go down to B. And you can chunk with the best of them, you know. But see, this thing chunks with the best of them, and it will scream with the best of them. Uh, back to the same sound if you want it for the rest of the guitar, and not just to concentrate on just the one string, because this guitar is more than a string. Check out the guitar. Single coil pickups, sounding extremely quacky, clean, sparkling, and hit it with your um, toys down here. <laughs> depths of hell and just borrow from the devil for a little bit. Don't sell your soul, but just say, sneak some of this. Okay, so just great stuff. Again, this is just a uh, a super cool guitar and finally when I wanted a Strat 
Matt came through with one. Uh, somebody, um, one of my buddies online actually told me about it, so I go check it out. And I'm like, holy crap, there it is. Um, I got the telly just to settle, and I love the guitar, but I was really hoping for a strap. And then this one came up, and I talked to Matt, and he more than hooked me up. So um, if you get a chance, talk to Matt Raines, R A I N E S. And there's two T's, Matt, M A T T. And grab yourself a good old strap or the last telly that exists or any of the gazillion guitars that he actually uh, has that he makes that are his uh, signature models. Uh, all kinds of arch top, hollow body, jazz guitars that are also 7 string or 20 string or whatever you want. But the guy does it all. And he's an amazing player. If anything, hell, just go out and buy one of his uh, CDs. Uh, you won't believe it. It's just. It's an incredible guy. He puts out some uh, incredible guitars, and everything on him makes sense. Um, nothing you don't need, and everything that I actually wanted out of it. So it's just a strap. Is all it is. It's something Fender wouldn't do. So I just couldn't be happier. Matt, thank you so much for hooking me up with this, and I can't wait to play. I just got it today. I opened it up out of the box. Um, I don't know, half an hour ago. Did a real quick setup uh, for my specific uh, likes and couldn't be happier already so I'll be tweaking some more, no not with my myth <laughs> um, but just a little more, just dial it right in exactly how I like it and um, this puppy's going on stage um, this weekend so um, it's just going to be all kinds of fun and uh, people will hear all these notes, they won't know where it's coming from, it looks like any other guitar from any view you look at it so most people around here where I live can't count to seven anyway so that's uh, not going to be perplexing too many people. So there you go again, the Matt Rain Strat 7 string. Grab one at a dealer near you. <laughs> okay, hasta la fuegos.